So Warner Brothers may have ghosted A.H. when it comes to their first Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom teaser trailer, with one female figure momentarily getting spotlighted with CGI that is so freaking bad. You can't tell who that is. I mean, look at that face right there. And really, because of AH and all of the delays for this movie because of her, this thing, it is flopping and it is flopping hard. With the numbers coming in, getting about one thirtieth of the attention that a Blue Beetle got. I mean, that, that is bad. Bad. Really, really bad. Not only that, but Aquaman 2's trailer, oh, it has set one of the worst DCEU records on the book, telling you that Warner, they expect this thing to flop. And when you check out the trending on this, oh, you can tell why they've been avoiding this. And so far, this has been an absolute nightmare for Warner Brothers. You and I, we're going to talk about this and so much more today, too. Oh, man. I mean, this, this is fun, expected times. Fun, expected times, indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So Warner Brothers decided they would sneak a teaser trailer in for Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. They dropped it in the middle of the night on Sunday. They did no hype for this thing at all. And if you look at the numbers here, the numbers are not good at all. I mean, this has been out for around 14 hours now. It has 603,000 515 views. And when you compare that to, say, the Blue Beetle and its first looks, where it pulled down 21 million 500 plus thousand, yeah, we're talking about a billion dollar plus franchise that now people don't want to touch. Why don't they want to touch it? Well, one of the major problems there is A.H. And we check out this teaser trailer here. Yeah, it looks like Warner Brothers knows what the problem with this movie is going to be. If this is A.H. in it, yeah, they've relegated her to a blink and you miss it moment. Check this thing out here. So it starts out with a hype. You know, hey, in Four days, you're going to get proof of life. Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, it actually exists. I'll tell you about why that is in just a moment. But then you get to the star of the show. And of course, this, it has to be annoying for Jason Momoa and for Warner Brothers. I mean, A.H. was a side character. Somebody that shouldn't have damaged this, that they thought couldn't have damaged it. And yet, well, you see where you are. Between the hype slides here, too, they try to show you that this, it's not going to be just like every other DCEU movie. They want to undo the damage with the flash here. They want to show you, yeah, we have good CGI. By the way, hey, check out Aquaman. And this, this doesn't look that bad at all. Then, you know, you have, of course, villainy that has to come in. This, it follows the whole standard set that you expect. You see the machine rise. Gotta take out Aquaman, too. Oop villain intro then you get some blink and you miss it moments check this out here you'll notice along the dock right in the background female figure running in is that ah can't really tell i mean look at how fast this goes by again if you were to blink with that you'd actually miss it you have a fire at a home oh no they burned the residence up oh let's let's ride on a seahorse then you get to this part right here again i'm gonna let it play first and then i'll go back and show you how bad it looks but look how fast that goes by i mean that that doesn't look good either. If that's A.H., and it's very hard to tell in that, yeah, you can tell that that's not cleaned up. This was not part of the reshoots, which they made available to the public. They said, yeah, she wasn't part of that at all. They've ghosted her. They know that this thing, it will probably fail. And yeah, whose fault is it? It's hers. And you notice there is nothing here. I mean, nothing at all. It looks like this thing, it was thrown together like at the last moment. I mean, again, ice in the background. Ah, December 20th, film for IMAX. This, this was the thing that came out as a slide 
months ago. In fact, this movie has set a record, a record that the press called, quote, an annoying DCEU record. Why? Well, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has set the shortest window between the actual trailer that ends up dropping for something and its release in the theater. Quote, with 114 days, and actually this was written August the 29th, the trailer doesn't come out for another four days. So you're talking right on a hundred days here until Aquaman 2 hits the big screen. The sequel now sets the DCEU record for the shortest window between the release of a film's first trailer and its theatrical release date. That is bad, by the way, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Analyzing the promotional window for the other 14 movies in the DCEU, the previous record was also set this year with the trailer for The Flash. That's right, uh, The Flash. It It had its first trailer come up 124 days before it came up, and that that was because of controversy. They had no idea how they were going to go out, how they were going to meet the public reaction to Ezra Miller. They didn't want it to build, so they tried to release that, but... Unlike The Flash, Aquaman, it doesn't have any hype behind it at all. There's nobody talking about it. There's no hype there. That tells you they don't want to spend on advertisement. You can tell why Warner Brothers is panicked by this thing, too, when you look at the trending on Twitter. I mean, here, if you look through entertainment, it doesn't pop up on the top trending, by the way, but in entertainment, you'll see Aquaman of the Lost Kingdom. It doesn't get a lot of hype either. I mean, if you look at a lot of other stuff, you can get 10 to 30, even 40,000 posts on it. This thing, it's only gotten 2,359 posts as of 14 hours being out. Now compare that with all the people that are bringing up the reason they're not going to go see that movie. Why? Well, a certain actress with the first name Amber. I mean, look at all the posts about that person. Entertainment, trending in celebrities, 37,000. 400 posts. So, you've got less than one-tenth of those people actually bringing up the movie, tagging it in and all, and again, the price tag on this movie, yeah, you're going to lose lots, lots of it. They know it. They put it off until the last minute. They set a record on that, and they tried to go stay age, and it is still flopping in numbers. But anyway, let me know what you think about this, and as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Want to help out the channel, by the way? Links are in the description. And again, thank you, and we'll see you soon.